Tom Cruise, the man famous for some of the biggest stunts ever put to film. Some examples of these include the time he jumped off a building, the time he did this thing, the time he flew a plane, the time he flew a plane from the outside. What are you doing out there, Mr. Cruise? You're supposed to be in the plane. Not outside of it, but Tom Cruise's most magical stunt is, of course, magic. Just look how smooth that was. The first time I watched that, I thought it was some kind of CGI. It was that good. The new Mission Impossible is coming out this year, and it made me take a look back at the previous installments. When I first watched these movies, I always had Fallout as my number one. But you know what? That has changed. That's right, after further evaluation, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol is, in my opinion, the best Mission Impossible movie. And here's why. Spoilers to those who haven't seen a movie that came out when phones look like this. The greatest quality the Mission Impossible movies have story-wise is their ability to improvise. We see Tom Cruise and the gang always thinking quickly on their feet during these missions. When something isn't as it seems to be and our characters have to deal with that, it's very exciting. I firmly believe that Ghost Protocol is the most effective at putting these characters in these positions. Gadgets are a big staple in Mission Impossible movies and the team is often relying on them. What happens in Ghost Protocol? All the gadgets malfunction. I seriously can't think of a single time a gadget in this movie works. And they foreshadow this in one of the first scenes of the movie when the famous self-destruct thing doesn't work. The purpose of having these tech malfunctions is to force these characters to work as a team, to create a different solution to the problem. It's just so much fun to watch. I love the fact that this movie doesn't portray these people as superheroes also. They are really skilled, but they're just a bunch of guys and girls trying to achieve a really tough challenge. A tiny moment that perfectly encapsulates this is when Tom Cruise forgets that he is wearing the goggles when he is about to go into the meeting. It's only a few seconds, but it's so perfect at showing that these are just humans that are barely making this plane work by the skin of their teeth. Okay. I think it's time to address the Burj Khalifa in the room. This is far and away Tom Cruise's most impressive stunt in my opinion. Outside of the magic of course. It may not be the most dangerous stunt he's ever done, but it certainly feels like it. The main reason why I love this stunt so much is because they incorporate it so well into the narrative. And come on, they took out multiple windows of the Burj Khalifa and had cranes sticking out all over the place to film him. You just have to respect how difficult it must have been to film it. I would also like to discuss how different this movie feels compared to the other Mission Impossible movies. It's basically three big missions weaved into a narrative. And the missions are the best part of these movies anyway, so nobody's complaining. Outside of the Burj Khalifa scene, we get the wonderful Kremlin break-in. The whole scene with the projector thingy is so well done. It was both funny and intense. And the third mission is very interesting because it switches things up and puts Jeremy Renner's character in the dangerous position instead of Tom. That's right. Me and Tom Cruise are on a first name basis, so we get some funny moments out of that. This movie doesn't have as much action as the other Mission Impossible movies, and yet it's still as entertaining and suspenseful. I love this movie and you should absolutely give it a watch. And if you have seen it, give it another watch. There's nothing wrong with watching a movie more than once. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This isn't CGI, right? No, it can't be that silly. Right?